is a lovely group of people in our studio audience today, and I want to take like a little bit. No, you don't have to give yourself. A um, no, but I just wanted to say that whether you're a man or a woman, old or young, I want a true show of hands. If you could have a little Botox or maybe lift the girls a little, if you could have plastic surgery or cosmetic procedures and you could afford it and none of your friends had to know and it wasn't uh, painful, would you do it? Everybody would change something, right? <laughs> this lady's like, yes! I mean, I remember my sister when she was just like 16, begging my mother for a nose job. Lord knows I could lose a little here and put it up there and I'd be thrilled. But I'm afraid of the pain. I don't want somebody cutting me. So here to show us some of the new painless uh, treatments, procedures, and even plastic surgeries is our good friend, Dr. Anthony Yoon. <laughs> Dr. Yoon, how are you, buddy? Good, good, thank you. not just really talking about plastic surgery anymore, right? I mean, it's a, such a broad sort of spectrum when you talk about what, what used to be considered plastic surgery or changing your appearance. Yeah, in the old days, it was literally just surgeons with scalpels. And now right. we've got lasers, we have radiofrequency, we have injections, and we still do surgery as well. So, I mean, there's really this so boom. cosmetic treatments are rolled into that whole big realm of plastic surgery. Exactly. And when you look at the number of people who are undergoing non-surgical cosmetic treatments, injections and lasers and all that, it is literally 10 times as many people as people who are actually undergoing the knife. Wow, 10 times as many people. Yep. Yeah. And even when it comes to a procedure that doesn't involve a scalpel, they make those more and more pain-free, right, as everything evolves. Exactly. And, and because, it all changes so quickly. Yeah, well, there's this boom in cosmetic surgery nowadays. Yeah. And so that boom has caused device companies to spend more and more money advancing their technology. So. The devices now are getting less and less painful, like the laser treatments, and it's also caused, surgeon, called, you know, caused surgeons like me to change our techniques and to refine them and make them better. There's so much competition now, you can't just do the old style surgeries and get away with it anymore. Right. Or at least you shouldn't. And, and the cost has also come down on some of these treatments than when they first start too, right? Because of the, the, the size of the marketplace. Exactly. And it's not just competition. For, yeah, it's not just for rich socialites anymore. I mean, I see people from all walks of life who have plastic surgery. And it's just kind of people who want that specific procedure that will change your life the way that they're looking for. And we're not talking about necessarily major changes. Everybody wants to look a little less tired or everybody's self-conscious about one thing, a frown line or, you know, there, this, this wrinkle or that wrinkle. Right? Yeah, exactly. And I, I tell you, I just turned 40 the other day, and so I know it's just like you look in the mirror and things are very different. Every <laughs> year like, things oh, change a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, I mean, people start off typically with the less invasive treatments, with chemical peels and laser treatments, and even those, we've had huge strides uh, in the last just 10 years of what we're able to do and with the downtime. And so that's what we're going to cover today. So okay. that whole kind of saying of no pain, no gain, that's not true in plastic surgery anymore. It's actually the opposite now. Yeah, you get a lot of gain and no pain. So that's it's what we're terrific. going to show your audience is how can you get uh, no pain with gain? I love that. That's Ooh. lovely. <laughs> so we have lovely volunteers here. A couple of yes. our viewers are helping us out. We have made our own little makeshift office for you. Where are we going to begin? So we're going to start over here uh, with the ouchless needle. And I'm going to have you stand right stand over, over here. Stand over here already. So Hi there, what's your name? I'm Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Nice Rachel. to meet you. Heidi, you're lovely. Oh, thank you. So cosmetic injections are huge. That's the fastest growing segment of the cosmetic marketplace nowadays. Uh, last year, over 7.5 million people underwent cosmetic injections, and it's up 500% just in the last 10 years. So you're talking about like Botox? Yeah, we're talking that, about that kind of Botox thing. and Restylane. Those are two common ones, Juvederm. So it's the injections to reduce wrinkles to, and to, you know, kind Is of... Is it Restylane and those, uh, aren't those more like fillers rather than... Yeah, so Botox is good for here on up, okay? Uh -huh. Restylane is good for here on down. So Botox really? is a neurotoxin. It actually blocks nerve impulses to muscle, causing certain muscles that cause wrinkles like this. Like all your frownies. And these, yeah. Urgh. It causes those to stop, you know, to, to disappear. The things fillers, that women think make them look angry. Yes, yeah. and fillers are traditionally used for these lines, the nasolabial folds, as well as to pump up the lips. Oh, ow. Yeah. Oh, they, they get them shot right in the lips, huh? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So. That's got to hurt. Come on. Well, yeah, and so, but they work. And so but we they got, work. We, we have some pictures here, actually, of a patient okay, of mine who I did look. some Botox on. So this is a um, before and after of her crow's feet. Oh, wow. So it's just injections, but injections are How long does painful. something like that last? Uh, Botox lasts about three to four months. 
And how much would something like that cost if a woman had her crow's feet done like that? Just the crow's feet in my office, we charge less than $200. Shut the door. Yeah, for it. But that's, that's in Michigan. In New York, you're probably jacking the price up closer to $300. <laughs> yeah, probably. Everything's a little more expensive in the big city. So, um, can I ask you something else, though? Of course. You know, we see a lot of actors and actresses here, and we this is now our seventh year on this show. And I can see some changes in people. Thank you. But, you know, you see some of the same folks over and over again over the years, and you're like, wow, that looks great, or they look really rested. But then in, in some cases, it can go too far. I mean, yeah. it, it, is it up to the patient or the doctor or both? And how do you know what's, what's enough? You know, how do you know when to stop? Yeah, it really is up to both. I mean, as a physician, I tell you, I turn down one out of every five people who come to see me. I love hearing and, that, though. Well, the I barometer really is, is if we're treating somebody to make them look different, not better, but just different, then that's where we're going wrong. Gotcha. And so you see some celebrities that may come in and, and you know, they, they don't necessarily look better, they just look different. And they, they don't look like the same person. Exactly. So the idea is to always make somebody look better if we're going to do something especially invasive. But if you're just trying to change how they look, that's a whole different situation. It's like that I like Monte, that though. That's a good. Ten surgeries one day type of thing. That's I mean, right. Was that's... that necessary? No. No, I like that though. Have a conversation about it and really talk to yourself first about: Do you want to just look a little rested, or do you want to look different? Exactly. There, there may be something else going on. Exactly. All right. So you're gorgeous. I don't know what what we're working on with you, but what are you <laughs> self conscious about? Um, my smile lines. You when think... I smile right here, the crow's feet. Yeah. And so you yeah. want you want them to be a little less noticeable yes. for you. Yes. Because every picture I take, usually I'm smiling and. I wouldn't mind. And it bothers you. Because I think yeah. it's uh, lovely when, when ladies have a little bit of a, of a smile like that. I mean, they are from yeah. smiles. They're not from frowning, at least. That's true, yeah. yes. <laughs> but you know what? It's about how you feel on the inside about you. And if you're less self-conscious, you'll probably smile even more. Exactly. There yes. you go. Thank you. So what are the differences um, between getting, I assume we're going to use Botox, because yeah. you said it's here up? Yeah, so the idea is the best treatment for these type of crow's lines. Can you smile? There yeah. you go. So we can see them real well in her is Botox, mm -hmm. but Botox is injected with a needle so it can be painful. So there is a new breakthrough in plastic surgery and it's called the ouchless needle. And the ouchless needle is this little attachment that I have here where you can actually numb the skin very quickly, immediately, wow. right before the needle goes in. And we're so gonna try it on her today. So she literally will not feel the needle. Yep, it completely reduces the pain How and hopefully cool feel that? absolutely none of it. And I'm gonna ask you to help me today if you don't mind. Okay. But you know I'm not a doctor, so I'm sorry, oh, honey. <laughs> so I, I brought some very Damn. nice blue gloves for you. These are more of a purple, really. Oh, purple. But I like it. It's yeah, good. Colorful. They're Purply better looking blue. than mine. Yep. And I, we're going to go ahead and inject her. Now, I'm going to have you actually go back to their side. And once I'm done injecting her, we're going to put a little pressure over the area that we inject. And that's where I'm going to have you hold it. Fine. And the idea is to prevent a bruise. Worst case scenario, prevent a black, black eye, but don't tell her. <laughs> she might have heard you there, Doc. <laughs> right, okay, so, I'm gonna, so I am not injecting so I'm you. I'm just swabbing. Back, I'll have that's you come back to that come side. Come back over here. Yes. Yeah, and then once I Is need to, I'll let you know. Is this the first time you've done Botox? Yes. Yes. Wow, so you are a little bit nervous about this probably. Well, yeah. a needle to the face. Yes. And let me show you how let me show you how it feels. Not not right, with the I needle, really but will with the spray. Hold your so yeah. this is a spray. So you feel it feels cold. I can right. show you if you'd like. I'm not gonna stab you or anything, I promise. Yeah, I believe you. Not. So it feels oh, nice, it's and nice and cold. So it's kind of a chill. Yeah. Like yeah. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do today. Okay. And I'm just gonna have you All close right. your eyes and I'm gonna cover your eye here so we don't get any of the spray in. Oh, and geez, a little please. spray. And a couple quick little injections. Boom. 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 One more. Boom. And that's it. And and I hold this. No, so I'm gonna have you come back around this way. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I squeezed your hand way harder because I was watching. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna have you hold right there. Okay. And then yeah. we'll go to the other side. Okay. And so now you tell us, was that in fact ouchless? I, yes, it was ouchless. I did not feel a thing. You really I didn't feel a thing. I still expected a spin, a pinch, but I did not. I did not feel a thing. Okay, That's we're amazing. gonna do it again then. Okay. Mm -hmm. By the way, you I'm have an eyelash. We can make you. a wish on that when you're done. <laughs> okay, a little spray here, so you're gonna feel a little spray. There you go. And a couple quick injections. Boom. Boom. Oh gosh, I seriously can't look. <laughs> How okay. was that side? Are you gonna hold that one? I got it. I got okay. it. Oh, okay. She has it. Look at her. I'm re reading your mind. <laughs> so how was it? It was great. It was okay. great. Right. Now, Painless. how quickly do you see results if you have this done? So Botox typically takes anywhere from a few days up to a week. 
Oh, so, I'm gonna be here a while. Okay. <laughs> no, no, we're I'm just gonna, gonna have her, you. we'll have her press on it just for the next minute or two. And the okay. idea is to prevent a little bruise there. Okay. They never get black eyes unless the surgeon doesn't know what they're doing. No, no, don't okay. rub it. That's okay. the last thing you wanna okay. do. Okay. <laughs> Glad I asked. <laughs> She's like, should I rub it? Oh, yeah, no, no, stop. No. <laughs> Um, so in a couple of days, she'll actually see those results. Yes, and it lasts typically three to four months. And you can see, you know, you spray it, inject right away, and people usually don't feel a thing. Very easy. I can't wait Thank to you. see. Will Take you send five, me, ten years. will you email yeah. us a picture? Uh, yes, I will. Yes. I'm Be so fine. happy we were here Thank for you. you. So I literally held your hand. hand. It was great. <laughs> okay. Next patient. What are we moving on to okay, next? Okay, I'm going to have you come over on this side. I'll come over here. And, um... What we're going to talk about next is fat removal. Mm. So the old-fashioned way to remove fat is with diet and exercise, old-fashioned diet and exercises, or liposuction. And we know liposuction is painful, and we know diet and exercise can be painful too. <laughs> so now on your show, we've actually shown a couple of different devices over the last couple of years that will reduce fat without surgery. And these devices would either freeze the fat away, or they would use ultrasound to kind of blast the fat. Right. But the issue with these devices is that they do cause pain too. So now plastic surgeons, we've taken it one step further, and now we're doing the venous freeze. And this is a way to remove fat with absolutely no pain at all. When you have a procedure like this done, does it take multiple times? It does take multiple times. So and how long does it take to achieve, uh, say, an see, inch difference? Uh, typically, the, the studies come out of, there was one out of Toronto that showed an inch and a half difference around the waistline uh, after about six treatments. And each treatment takes about a half hour costs about two to three hundred dollars so it's not cheap to remove fat without pain it costs a little bit more money and how long do the results last uh, the, it's a very new new device so we're seeing results initially at a year and there are some uh, doctors from overseas where it's been around there longer they're right. saying that they're seeing results four or five years later Wow yeah, I mean so. given reason that you're not sitting around eating exactly. Ben and Jerry's all night you know exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you need you, you can't have this done and then decide and then you're gonna just go eat binge whatever you yeah, want yeah, exactly it doesn't exactly. work that way so have you ever considered um, having a tummy laser treatment or even more severe, a, a tummy tuck? The recovery time is just entirely too long and I was always afraid of the pain. Yeah, I mean, you hear horror stories about even liposuction, not only being painful, but in some cases yeah. being deadly, like things going wrong. I mean, yeah. surgery is still surgery, right? Yeah, so it's important to do your homework. Now, right. today we're covering all these devices and these treatments that have no pain at all. And there are some ways to get good results that way. But the one surgery that I tell you that there's never going to be a substitute for and you just got to suffer through the pain is the tummy tuck. It really is. Exactly. So women come in, they have children, they have extra skin in their tummy. Tummy tucks are very painful operations. I tell you, one out of every three or four of my patients, two, three days after surgery, have a little buyer's remorse. But Because it's so painful. Because yeah. it is, yeah. But, but that's about excess skin, not about necessarily just losing an inch. Exactly. But right. there are surveys that show, there's one on realself.com, showed 95% satisfaction rate with tummy tucks, even though they go through this pain. So sometimes you have to go through the pain to get the results. That really is a no pain, no gain situation. It really is. But this is very successful it. for just getting rid of some of the fat, and we have the befores and afters, right? Exactly. So yeah. we can take a peek at that. And I'm going to have you lie down here. We can kind of Yeah, you could do, you could do Alicia's... Um, right now while we're looking at the befores and afters. Sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pull up a little bit, okay? Wow, that is huge. What a difference that is. And I think we have some arms to show as well. Oh, my goodness. That's unbelievable. You nervous? No, not really. And it's going to be fun. It looks like me. a fun little gadget. I'm going to have you help me if you don't mind. Have sure. you used one of these before? Oh, yeah. I got these all the time. All right. So we're going <laughs> to Oh, no. Actually, I do know what this is. Is this a thermometer? Yeah. So it's My an husband has one thermometer. of these. I think Mario Batali gave it to cool. him, and he uses it in the pizza oven. It makes him extremely happy to know what the, it reads. <laughs> so what we're going to do is Holy we're macaroni. Heat up it's 17 skin. degrees Celsius in there. No wonder we're chilly. <laughs> so the idea behind the venous freeze is a revolutionary new treatment to reduce fat. And it does that by combining radio frequency with magnetic waves. And the idea behind it is by combining that radio frequency with magnetic waves, if we get our skin temperature to at least 41 to 42 degrees, we can actually cause the fat. This is on Celsius, is it supposed to be? Yes. So okay, let's have right. you, let's have you um, hit her here. So 31. She's at, 30. 31. Okay. So I'm going to start the treatment right now. Yeah, so the idea is that this product, it causes the fat cells to literally open up and release their contents. Wow. So let's take a peek. Can you go ahead and check her again? 38. 36? 
38 is what you were at okay. when I first right, hit good. it. So we're going to get her up to 42. <clears throat> now, once we hit 42 degrees, that's when the fat starts to melt away. No okay? kidding. Yeah. And so we're going to get up to 42 degrees. When we go degrees. to commercial, you're going to do the other side for her, too, right? So she doesn't have a weird, like... <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we have time. <laughs> All right, let's check over and see where she's at. 41, 41.2. We got to get just up to the 42 and we'll be good. And then we'll go to the next part of the segment. Awesome. All right. 41.8, oh, 42.4. All right. We have Take a fat melt. Out. Good job, baby. You How's just hang feel? out. How's Does it hurt? No, not Nothing, at all. Right? It was just very warm. Now, we promise we're going to do the other half, but over the break, we have one more demo over here. <laughs> You just chill out, no, no pun intended, Thank and he'll you. be right back. All right. Now we're going to talk about the thing that every woman in this room has wondered about making bigger or smaller at some point, breast enhancement, right? Exactly. Right. So when people think about breast augmentation, they think about pain and swelling and drainage tubes and scars and oh, all that. You're it's, creeping me out. It's a painful operation. And yeah. It, and it especially is, is when you do it in an old-fashioned way. So the old-fashioned way of doing breast augmentation utilizes devices like this, if you want to hold it. No, I really heavy. don't. You're creeping me out. <laughs> to literally these devices, and this is a bona fide breast augmentation device, to literally rip the breast open and stuff implants into the breast. <laughs> and believe it or not, surgeons do this. This is how some surgeons train me to do it. <sighs> but there is a new revolutionary way to do breast augmentation. Okay. And it's called the Rapid Recovery Breast Augmentation. It was devised by Dr. John Tebbets out in Texas. Right. And it combines two things. First of all, we trade this for this, for cautery. And the well, idea is... this looks much more pleasant than that. The <laughs> idea is, is instead of ripping <clears throat> open a breast and stuffing an implant in, we do a li literally bloodless operation by cauterizing the tissue and oh, by opening up the pocket. Oh, you're cauterizing the wound so as it's... no bleeding. Wow. And you can see, this is actually some video from a uh, surgery I did just the other day, uh, where you literally use the cautery to pretty much do the whole operation. The incision's literally an inch long, and the surgery takes just about an hour. That's amazing, so it's, amazing. So it's combining, basically, it's combining the cautery and switching that with also. So it cuts down the pain and it cuts down everything, I would imagine, the, the healing rate. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the risk of bleeding and the right? bruising. And the other thing is, instead of using a massive implant like this, we tailor the size of the implant to the patient. Right. And so this is a 750 cc implant, right. and this is 325. This is actually what we used on our patient who's going to come out here in just a second. So Brianna is her name. Let's oh. see Brianna before. There's Brianna, very fit lady, but she was want she was feeling self conscious about her chest size. Exactly, yeah. and she didn't want to go big. She wanted to look nice and naturally large. She wanted it to look natural and appropriate, but she wanted to not be self conscious anymore. Basically, exactly. right? Exactly. Brianna, come on out. Let's take a, a look. So let's do a before and after. Wow, they look great, by the way. Oh, thank you. Do a before and after split screen. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. And you are extremely fit. Thank you. And this you. does look really natural. Yeah. So tell us what the process was like. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm extremely happy. Um, it was something that, it was just a personal decision for me. And then when I decided to do it, my main thing was I wanted to be conservative about it. I didn't want to look fake, I didn't want to look, you know, right. too large, and especially I didn't, I didn't want to deal with the, you know, I heard about like weak recovery periods, and my pain has just been very minimal, very tolerable, I've been sleeping comfortably, it's been awesome. So. And so how long were you down and out, were you, were you in the hospital, days? I or? was in there two to, a uh, little bit over 24 hours ago, Rachel, and I was, Rachel, her surgery was just, I was, are you kidding me? Ago. No. Yeah. yeah. You just had that done 24 hours ago. <laughs> and I'm here. <laughs> That is mind blowing. So I can't even believe that. Yeah. It's like about 24 hours later, and you seem totally fine. Yeah, I was on a, I was on a plane, you know. So <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Any difference in the price? It's the same price. It just depends on. It's, it really is how your surgeon does the surgery, and some surgeons use that old fashioned. Just using technique. the tools. Exactly, and and doing a very meticulous operation, and and that's the key. Fantastic. Uh -huh. You look and the right Thank size. You. Congratulations. Using the right size. Thanks again to all of our brave ladies here, and of course to the great Dr. Yoon. Up next, we're going behind the scenes with our hair and makeup team for some little backstage beauty tips right after this. Tomorrow.